In today's video, I'm going to be building the ultimate tree farm. But there's a secret. Underneath this lumber mill, the tree farm is hidden away. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe, as it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Now another reason to subscribe is that I'm planning one potato for every new subscriber I gain. Now currently I have 308 subscribers, which is 42 more than I had last episode. So let's plant 42 new potatoes. And there we have it, 42 new potatoes for my 42 new subscribers. So if you want a potato in my world, make sure to subscribe and I'll plant one for you in the next episode. Anyways, let's go build the tree farm. All right, my plans for the tree farm are actually to build a lumber mill over here and then mine out an area underneath it to build the tree farm so we have a nice little decoration lumber mill on top to kind of act as a decoy to where we're getting all our lumber from but it's kind of just a nice little front that adds a little more character to this area but i think it'll look really nice in this area and the reason i'm actually building the tree farm is because it takes way too long to get all the materials to make these builds like it just takes way too long. I don't want to spend hours chopping down trees anymore. So I've decided that finally I'm going to cave in and build a tree farm. So now I'm going to go gather the materials to build the farm and we'll get started. So I've gathered all the materials now and we're going to get started on the tree farm. The materials are in these two yellow shulker boxes and we're actually going to have to fill in this lake a little bit. That way we have enough room to build our lumber mill and then we're going to kind of take this hill down a bit and I think it'll look nice. Then we're going to dig a hole into the ground that way we can have our tree farm underground and cover it up with the lumber mill. terraform this whole area and I set up a beacon so I can get to work on digging out this huge area. This outline is actually going to be how large the hole is. So let's get straight into it. We got this whole thing dug out and it's looking pretty sweet. This is a huge hole, but it should be just enough room to build the tree farm. So now we're gonna get into the tree farm and it's a design by Shulkercraft, which is modified by Il Mango. So I'll leave a link in the description to both of their stuff, both of their videos on the tree farm. So yeah, let's get into it. And the tree farm is complete. Now over here we have the tree growing area and this is the TNT duper and then that's the collection area and it gets stored in those chests. Now I mentioned this earlier, this is an ill mango design but I watched the Shulkercraft video which is like a modified version of the ill mango design. But anyways, I'll make sure to link both of those guys in the description because I wanna properly credit these guys because this is an in insane farm. Um, it's super efficient. And it's super complicated. I don't understand it at all, but I'll try and explain it to you guys. So over here, we have the TNT duper area, which just drops TNT over here, which breaks all the logs and they fall into the collection system. 
and then they get funneled into those chests. Now, if we come along here, this is the tree growing area. Now we have these fence gates right here to break all the leaves so they don't get in the way. And then if we come down here, bone meal is dispensed right here so it grows the tree. And then these pistons push it along that way into the TNT area and they get blown up. Now back here, this is kind of my own thing I added. It was kind of mentioned in the video. You need to move this glass block right here one block lower to grow oak trees. And they didn't really have a solution to that so I just added a sticky piston up here. And you can just turn it on and off that way. If you want oak, you can turn it on. If you don't want oak, you can turn it off. But this has four different wood types that you can grow. You can grow spruce, oak, jungle, and birch. Acacia and dark oak don't work because the way the tree grows, it wouldn't funnel properly and would kind of mess up the whole farm. But yeah, let's show this thing in action. Now this button right here turns on the TNT duper. And this lever right here turns on the tree growing area. Now if I take these saplings out and place one here, we'll start the TNT duper right here and we'll see a TNT drops and then it comes through the fence gates and explodes about there. And let's turn this on and we'll see that it gets super laggy and super loud, but you can see that everything is working properly. Now I'm going to turn off the farm right now. That way it doesn't stay too loud and too laggy but it blows up the logs here. They fall down there and we'll see that some logs are getting collected right now. And I've already tested this before to make sure it was working, but I got four stacks of logs in like maybe three minutes. I just went to the bathroom real quick and I had, you know, four stacks of logs. But anyways, that's the whole farm completed. Now we're gonna move on to building the lumber mill on top as sort of a facade to where we're getting all our logs from. But I'm also going to decorate the inside because I don't want it to look all janky with the granite and stone and dirt. I want it to look pretty and nice. That's why I use the spruce and the green glazed terracotta in the build because I thought it would kind of fit with a nice theme that I'm trying to go for, which you'll see later when I've completed the build. So let's get into the building. So I finally completed the interior to the tree farm. As you can see, we have a lot of spruce, oak, and terracotta in this build, and I think it came across really nice. Now, one flaw that this room has is that I actually had to put this wall up here because it was actually destroying our decorative walls. So this obsidian wall acts as a barrier so it doesn't blow up those things because I tested it out after I'd built the whole room, and it turns out it blew up everything on this side, basically up a bunch of these logs a bunch of these logs up here and all this glass right here was destroyed so i just decided to have the glass over there because i'm mainly only going to be over there for the storage reasons because that's where all the drops are funneled to but otherwise it's it's looking pretty good i mean this obsidian wall just kind of looks industrial and fits with the farm so i'm not too disappointed with how it came out even though it kind of stinks that it has to be here um i'm not I'm not really mad because otherwise then the room would just be all exploded and I'd rather have that than a big hole in my wall. But yeah, anyways, we got a bunch of storage over here. It's all connected to hoppers as you can kind of see in the back. And yeah, now we're going to cover up this thing, put a roof on it, and we're going to build the lumber mill. So let's get right back into time lapse mode.
I finished the lumber mill, so let's go check it out. When you approach the lumber mill, we got this nice pathway that leads straight up to the lumber mill, and we have a nice workshop out here, and oh, that beacon is not meant to be there. All right, I got that taken care of so we can get back to business. And we're going to tour the outside first as there's actually no interior to this build, just like all the other builds currently. But there will be an interior later. I just don't feel like doing them right now. And I'll do all the interiors at one time. So on the outside right here, we have the nice lumber mill workshop. So right here, this is where they cut all their logs with these saws and they turn into planks right here. And then we got some extra logs. This is just a nice little storage area. And we have more storage out here with some logs tied up and just kind of stacked on top of each other. And it's just meant to be a big, robust area that a lumberjack could work in. And then we got some small carts out here in the front. Now, if we come over here, this is the lumberjack's house. This is the main part of the house. And then out here, we have a nice little patio that looks on the waterfront and I thought this was a really nice area to do this because you have this huge waterfront property why not utilize your backyard as a nice open patio and it actually has a second floor as a deck up top and it's just a nice little space that you can hang out in and have some fun now we're going to take a look at the inside of this place and see how you actually get to the tree farm because this is on top of the tree farm and you know it's a nice little disguise but it actually kind of fits well with what we're trying to go with because where are we going to get our logs from? We're going to kind of pretend that this is the lumberjack and he's chopping them down for us. But if we come in here, come down here, this is a nice little catwalk above the whole contraption, the tree farm. And yeah, it's just a nice little catwalk. And then we come over here and you fall down here. And it's just a nice little water elevator and water dropper to the bottom and leads right to the entrance of the farm and the collection area over here. And so you don't need to go all over this mess of wires because originally I was going to make the staircase right here and I was like, then you got to go all these mess of wires and stuff. So right now the entrance is going to stay here. I may change it later because I do like that spot, but I think I think I'm going to stick with this. But yeah, this is looks the same as I showed earlier, but we got a roof up there and it's just a little bit of oak logs and oak plank slabs. So it's not too special, but a nice little design it's kind of um i think it's coffered is the word a coffered ceiling so it's really nice and i really like how this came out it looks very naturey and i like all the wood we used because you know this is this is a log farm tree farm whatever so naturally i just decided to use the materials that i would be getting from this farm and i really like how it came out but that's all the time i have for today's episode i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you're new to my channel i'd very much appreciate it if you'd subscribe anyways i've been your host Brandominus rex and i'll see you guys in the next one peace